Uh, all right, it's time for this part of the show. Backlog! 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 Hey, guys, this is backlog time. Look at this. Hey, backlog time. This is a part of the show where we go through our video game collection, every game we've ever bought, or some of them our mom has gotten us. Uh, we put into <laughs> an Excel spreadsheet, and we're going to pick one at random and talk about it, regardless of whether or not we played it. We're picking game number 814. 814, okay. Got to add some games Ooh. to this. Uh-oh. Spec Ops the line for the Xbox 360. Oh, oh this yes. Is, this is kind of notable. This is, oh, yes, because you can't play it anymore. This is another one of your games. This is, yes. This the, You ranted and raved about this game. This is a game, so this game came out of, like, the height of the 360 modern military shooter era. Mm -hmm. This is, like, after uh, Call of Duty 4 Modern Warfare came out, was, like, the most popular game uh, of that generation, really, and there were a lot of military shooters. Everybody tried to copy it in some way, shape, or form. Uh, EA tried to do it with Medal of Honor and Battlefield. Of uh, Microsoft tried to do it with Halo, even. Uh, so everybody was trying to uh, get a piece of the pie. Um, then in comes 2K Games and this uh, Jaeger Development, who rebooted Spec. The Spec Ops franchise was a budget video game series that on the from the original playstation they were like 20 dollars cheap games i don't remember yeah those. exactly like they were just 20 dollars cheap games you buy like a gas station and like that was it there was there was no like real cultural significance to them when 2k bought the rights to it i guess when they swallowed up the own the owners of the ip they handed it off to yeager development and they said make us make us a modern military shooter game but what yeager development did was they didn't just make a good modern military shooter. They made a horrifying deconstruction of the idea of a modern military shooter. So I've always heard about this as having like some wackadoo story, like some it, really nice, really good story. It was it, really heavy on the story. Yeah, it, it is a wackadoo premise because like uh, Dubai gets ravaged by a massive sandstorm and like uh, basically gets destroyed, and you are your of uh, Captain Walker uh, and his team go in to try and extradite uh, a lost colonel who's like basically gone mad and taken like taken over the city. Um, but throughout the course of the game, uh, your mission gets uh, more and more harrowing, and you you basically start un unknowingly at first, and then very much knowingly start committing genuine atrocities. <laughs> The things that like in Call of Duty very much like get celebrated, but here like the game actually stops and makes you think about what you've done. It gives you repercussions. It gives you repercussions, you repercussions that you do, and it yeah. doesn't. And like there are a lot of parts of it where like it's not fun. Like you're not doing this because it's fun. You're doing it to survive. Ammo is surprisingly scarce in this game, so you're constantly like throwing your weapon away, running for cover, finding new weapons to use against your enemies you're not doing this for like you know the fate of the world you're doing this just to survive and get out alive but you know not to spoil the whole thing but there's four different endings and none of them are good endings even the <laughs> endings where you make it out alive you don't make it out alive so, so this is like the last of us before the last of us where yes it makes you like do 100 percent you don't yes. want to do or necessarily agree with yeah there's there's the, the the infamous part in the middle of it which i don't necessarily want to spoil um, but like you don't know what you're doing like you think you're doing what you do in every other modern military shooter where you're just wiping out enemies and then you realize you're not doing that and the game like lingers on it for a very long time there, yeah there's and, like a there's like a some it, it plays with uh, ptsd a lot plays right? with ptsd a lot it plays with sanity incredibly well yeah you can't you honest the whole game takes place from walker's perspective but you can't trust him as a narrator because, like, you don't know what's going on, what if he's telling the truth or not. Mm -hmm. There's a point towards the end of the game where you see a fallen comrade attack you. And then if that comrade kills you and then you have to restart the, the checkpoint, he's gone. So your whole, your whole perception of, like, what's real and what isn't is always in question. 
And by the time you get to the end of the game, it's just gone. Like what you thought was the truth is just out the window. So I'm watching this uh, this gameplay from uh, MK Ice and Fire. Mm -hmm. uh, it is only three hours and forty five minutes. It's not a long game. No. I wonder how. Let's let's check the how long. It's it it's not a long game, and you can probably get it done. Like I would say, maybe like five hours. Wow. If you just play through the game. Um, but it is well worth the experience. Six hours according yeah. to how long to beat. Because it does it does its best to like make you think you're playing a standard modern military shooter. Um, when in reality it's like seriously trying to make you think of like what that means. Like what are you what are you actually doing when you play games like this? If you were really in this situation, would you be considered the hero? The answer is no. So this game's notable right now because it, it's been notable because it was kind of a cult classic. It didn't really yeah, do it didn't, too good. It didn't sell very well. It was kind of the end of the series. But people loved uh, the idea of the game and the story yes. and whatnot. Uh, and it's notable right now because it's not available at all. It's de it was delisted because it does have like popular uh, music in it. It has songs from like Deep Purple and uh, other bands of like the 60s because it's very heavily inspired by Apocalypse Now and the book that's based on Heart of Darkness. Um, so there's popular music in it. And because, you know, we can't have nice things, the terms of the contract for licensing that music expired. So rather than relicense it or patch it to have different music, take two, uh, it was just like, you know what? Nobody needs to play this game. I want to play it. I... <laughs> I, I... I've, been, I've heard a lot about it. I just now heard that I could beat it in five hours. Yeah, so now I want to try it. It's on 360. It's available. You could play it um, backwards compatibly on Xbox Series. Oh, and Xbox and we One. have it, right? We have it, yes. I highly recommend if you can find this game, play this game. I'm going to pop it into it my is Xbox. Absolutely worthwhile. Uh, I know some people will say that like the shooting's not good in it. I disagree. I think that's like. It the, looked fine. That's the great trick of it because it makes you think you're playing like a good military shooter it kind of looked exactly like the last of us <laughs> i know and like that that's the great trick because as you as you play it you get into this false sense of security like this is another modern military shooter and it very quickly does not become that the steam page says similar games you might want to play modern warfare 3 and modern warfare 2 and warzone it's like going from how do i put this it's like going from uh Saving Private Ryan to a Michael Bay movie. Like you got one is like this really serious, really like genuinely scary portrayal of war. And the other is, you know, hey, isn't it cool that we drove this Humvee through like a dilapidated Cuban uh, village? Yeah, no, I, know? I, I understand. It, this is like an actual like art piece. <laughs> yeah, no, it really is. It's like one of the first game. Not that like games never took themselves seriously but this is like the first time where like it actually like thought like you know can we do something with the medium of gameplay this is one of the ones that got brought up uh, a lot in terms of like our games, games art, art yeah. and and uh can you uh have a narrative that has any sort of impact in, in, a, in a video game that's yeah. not just shooting stuff and I, I think one of the best things it did was the main character the player character walker is voiced by nolan north and this was at the time where that like we were you know the uncharted games were popular we were at peak Nolan north he was in every video game he was the protagonist of every video game you know and he had that like you know and every character he played was nathan drake he was like you know wisecracking character or whatnot and then this game he fucking unravels <laughs> it is an oscar caliber performance this is uh how, how do i put this this is Tom Holland as Don Corleone, but like actually making it work. Uh, in the YouTube chat, Tamago Musubi, delicious, says, uh, shooting is fine. PC gamers complained because it has mouse acceleration. To disable it, you have, you got to decrypt in a, an encrypted config file or something like that. Okay. So you got to do some stuff to get mouse controls to work. Yeah. Or plug in a controller. Yes, exactly. It's a, it's a console game. Like, yeah. Yeah. This was made this, for uh, this was in the era consoles. when like they would put uh, games on PC. They literally just port the console game over and like maybe slap a. They would make the games for console, yeah, and then figure out how to put it on PC. Yeah. Now it's kind of the other way around yeah. because game now consoles are very close to PC yeah. architecture. 
back then xbox 360 playstation 3 were very unique so they had to try to figure out how to get it to work for that before they then moved it over to pc yeah uh um, this game has a multiplayer mode do not play it well you can't play it because it's you know taken offline i'm pretty sure the servers are down but they didn't want to put uh, the multiplayer mode in the game they wanted this to be a purely single player experience but take two said no it's a military shoot you gotta have a multiplayer mode put a multiplayer mode in it and that actually impacted the single player development of the game because they had to pull resources and funding from the single player campaign into this half-baked dumbass multiplayer mode that nobody liked nobody ever played and was you know derived for being inessential and that's probably why the game is as short as it is yeah uh okay so i'm gonna have to uh grab that and try it on yes my xbox you will 100 percent have to play it and if you have access to this game definitely play this game it's very rare for me to want to play a game that i haven't played that we feature on the backlog yeah last week we talked about sonic 4 yes and that made me replay sonic 4 that game sucks <laughs> I, we were like, this game wasn't as bad as everybody said. No, that game sucks. It controls horribly. Is it? It's the, it's the physics. Right. The physics are yeah. terrible in that game. But my question is, does it suck? Yes. The well, answer is yes, but go on. <laughs> did, did the perception change over time? Like, was it a good game? Because the question was, like, was it a good game back then and it's just a bad game now? Or was it always a bad game? So... The reason why we liked it or or were more okay with it than other people is, ex is something we mentioned in the backlog episode. Right. It's because we were so starved for 2D Sonic. Right. We were uh, accepting of it. It wasn't great, but it's like we don't have any 2D Sonic, so this is the best we're going to yeah. get. It, uh, Sonic Superstars feels better than, than this game. Okay. So it's not good okay <laughs> it I, I i yeah i wouldn't say it's good for even a game back then it is just not a good it's Got it. not good Got and it. I, I didn't even play it for that long i played it for like two yeah. seconds but i was like this i can't we've come so far with with, <laughs> with 2d games i can't mm -hmm. play this any longer and then i i played uh sonic 4 episode 2 yeah and it feels exactly the same, same. thing yeah okay. you just have tails like abilities right that you can, like, okay. pick you up and stuff uh, but anyway, uh, that's the backlog. There I'm going to go. try Spec Ops and see how it is. Thanks for coming in the backlog, guys. Uh, come to a podcast sometime. We're going to continue the podcast, but if you're watching this afterwards, only the backlog version, bye. Bye.